yeah, and we'll go ahead and start a build now, actually. Um, so we're going to tackle the, the Grant Park, the Millennium Park in Chicago, and I want to build it around that Royal Garden area. And it's one of the parks from the specializations. So let's grab the Royal Garden, and that will help us to kind of build stuff to, you know, a, a rough scale. So let's pop that down. And I think that's a good first piece of the park and the piece of the puzzle. And what we do need is a road between the park and the seafront. So we need the road, the park itself, to be sort of back here. And looking at the image in detail, you can see the road is quite a dense road. It looks like a five lane each side kind of carriageway. So we could go quite conceivably for a very uh, very busy road here. And it's got stuff down the middle and I think I like the boulevard for this. Or possibly the streetcar avenue but it doesn't look like it's got streetcars on and I think the yeah, the boulevard here is a pretty good representation. And it's got some nice greenery that picks out the detail with the park as well. So I think that's what we'll go for. And then we need to think about sort of further down the beach, what that's going to look like and, you know, what the scale is going to be. So on the image I'm, I'm using, the main sort of central park area is actually quite a long way down, very near to the start of the build this end. So let's, let's move the Royal Garden down here. And that creates more space for us to build into down this way. Let's pop our road in now, all the way along to the end. It's going to be quite a long build. And we can always remove this later on. And it's worth mentioning, of course, um, for those who don't know who are new to my channel or this series, uh, that we're using a demonstration city here that EA and Track20 have very kindly provided so I can kind of share tips and tricks with you and show you this kind of content and build things creatively and we can be a bit um, different in the way we play the game together. I want the space on the other side of the park to be the same as on this side of the park. So here and here, this, the distance will be the same. And actually that works out pretty well for us because it leaves a four wide space between the two roads which means we can put two by two things in it and they'll all touch the roads and and that's a good way to do it and then at the other side of the park there is another road that kind of crosses this one and it does kind of a curve now we can't really do curves in SimCity build it very easily but what we could do is try and represent it somehow with a road something like that perhaps Let's go ahead now and sort of build up this area around the Royal Garden we've got. So there's lots of trees and bushes next to it. And there are quite a few square looking parks. So let's head over to our parks menu and see if we can pick some good ones to go in there. And we're looking for sort of two by two parks really. We could build up two by two areas using the one by twos and see how well we do with that because in the middle of the these areas here there's actually bits that almost look like roadways they're, they're kind of walkways but if we did something like this it would almost kind of represent the little walkway as if it was a path and that kind of provides a nice little boundary to what it looks like in real life. And I think that's that's a pretty good representation, actually. It's a shame we've had to use kind of road in the middle, but with there being bulky roads on either side, it actually doesn't work too badly at all, I think. So I think what we'll do is bulldoze the six-lane road, and we will stick with a four-lane road along here, because I think that's a better match for what it looks like in real life. I think that's worked worked out quite nicely. Okay, so now we're going to mirror the rows of trees and stuff on this side of the Royal Garden over to the other side. So it's not a cheap build by any means, but I think if you want to get something looking a bit more aesthetic in your city, then this is a good way to go about it. 
I suspect we might get a game crash here in a minute. It's uh, lagging a little bit for me here. So there, yeah, that's pretty good. And on the left-hand side here, the this park is kind of bounded by a road. So let's put that road in now, and that will be the edge of our park on this side. And then again, over on the left and right, just to the left of the peaceful park there, and to the right of the peaceful park there, there's almost a kind of a walkway through, sort of here. Now we could use roads to try and represent that again. Or we could look for another building. Perhaps just in there like that. And again on this side just to mirror it. What I want to do to try and represent that is use the amphitheatre we've got in game. Okay, so it always faces a road basically. And then in front of the amphitheatre in this kind of area, let me just draw a road so you can see what I'm talking about. So in this kind of area, there's a little sort of walkway and paths and stuff. And what I think would work really nicely for that would be the jogging path, actually. I think that's a pretty good representation of what's going on in that area. So we could go for something actually like the Oslo Opera House. Might not be too bad. It's not a perfect representation by any means, but it's a it's not bad. Because it does pick out that distinctive white roof. If we just take a look at this from sort of side on and then decide how close we want the Oslo Opera House to be to the Royal Garden. We've got our parks in here and that's where we kind of get the road which runs through the park. It's actually a path, but if we put it in, it would look something like that. And then that would work actually really nicely for the Oslo, Oslo Opera House, because we could rotate it around to one of three different directions here and decide you know, which way we want it to face. The Art Institute of Chicago is what we're trying to represent with this choice of building. The other option with the bit sort of in here, Mardun, in this area, is to use things like the urban plaza and put two of those kind of side by side to represent that walkway. Let's have a quick go at that and see what it looks like and then you can let me know what you think. And then we put in our urban plazas. Like that. Opposite the amphitheatre in this space over here, we've got things like tennis courts. Now we don't have tennis courts in the game, but what we have got and could use to represent things would be the soccer fields. Perhaps a couple of those. And we've also got the basketball courts as well. So we could use a couple of those potentially. And then we need to pick a, a park to put in this space between the soccer field and the basketball courts. And from sort of eyeballing it, I think we're looking at probably the peaceful park being a good representation. Let's just try that and see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I think I prefer that. I think I prefer that to the, the peaceful park. That looks good from a distance. Uh, let's turn our attention, actually, to the seafront, because before we sort of finish up and look at the university and, and Oslo Opera House, and we sort of choose between those two, because in this area, sort of down here, it's not a beachfront as such. It looks like a sort of concreted area, and then it reaches out to a pier, and then in the background, what in sort of our to scale version would actually be sort of all the way down here on the beach. There's a big marina and kind of like a pier. And so if we sort of, if we took those elements and, you know, sort of had uh, creative license, as it were, we could incorporate those into our park almost. Work. So if we grab the Salomon's Pier, 
And then we could grab a boat marina and kind of put that in here. Let's turn our attention back to the city. And I think I'm going to leave out the the road Jim over here. Job. This this road is a bit too a bit too fiddly. So kind of creative license. We're you know we're trying to get a good representation of this in the game. Not not a perfect representation. We we couldn't possibly do that. So yeah, let's take out these roads then. We'll go ahead and we will put in the urban plazas because you seem to prefer those. That's an interesting look. It's a little bit smoother, isn't it? So how about we use another park that's got lines running through it, like the jogging path. Looking at, at the jogging path bit, the, the area that kind of then bounds it... I think rows of trees would be good, but then the central area actually is, is quite grassy and open, so we might actually just leave that open as it is. How would that be? I think that would actually work okay, wouldn't it? We still do have this problem with the amphitheatre and the way it's kind of facing and the extra road in there, which means this, this whole thing is a little bit longer than perhaps it needs to be. So I've taken out the, the semicircle bit uh, up here. We are just going to trim off this bit of the park and say we don't need that after all. And then we need to make a decision about this area in the middle. And while the Oslo Opera House is a better fit for how it kind of looks in real life with the white building, I think the university is probably a better choice in terms of what it looks like with the surrounding and stuff. Um, or we could go for two education things and put them in together. That might be quite interesting. Perhaps putting in like a public li library and a grade school, or maybe throwing in a community college with stuff alongside it. We could put it on this side and then put trees down the side. Kind of like it has in game. Uh, not in game, sorry, in, in real life. <laughs> Getting confused between the two there. Let's go ahead and put them those uh, those parks in down the side because they've got trees along there. And I think the perhaps the peaceful park is a good shout for this one. Can we put them in there? Oh, we can't. Uh, so we'd have to use rows of trees on that one, or take out the jogging path and shorten this whole bit. Let's have a look at that and see how it see how it fits in. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close to finish now on this. I like the overall look of this. The feet, the main feature of the Royal Garden, and then bounded by these peaceful parks, the urban plazas, and the rows of trees in that area, really tie that together quite nicely. We do need to make a decision about whether or not we use the anchor parks and perhaps substitute a couple of those rows of trees and just kind of squish that down a little bit. But I think that's a pretty good start. I think we're pretty close on this, but now kind of seeing the Anchor Park and the way it looks in the game, this might fit quite nicely. So let's drop one in here we'd need to put in a park on this side. We have to decide kind of which one we go for. I think the Peaceful Park is probably a slightly better fit than the Urban Plaza, because the Urban Plaza sort of stands out. <laughs> this is a cheap park to build. Yeah, super cheap. No no expense at all. But the thing is, if you know, if I build it, you can sort of see it on screen. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. We get to design it together, and then if you like the idea, you can stick it in your own cities. You know, and that's that's the whole point of this series: is it gives people the chance to see stuff before having to spend, you know, however much sim cash and stuff we've spent trying to design this and pull it together. It does look a little bit busy around this royal garden, and maybe we could change some of that up. Let's go and grab some of the old growth forests, though. 
and we'll bring these over and just drop a few in and kind of see how they look because they might better represent some of the sort of the trees and and the growth and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we could drop them in there like that. Maybe actually for creative license, we take out this this Paris area. We bring our amphitheater down and have it face this way. And then just to kind of close out the theme of the park, we drop that in there. We'll get rid of our geometric sculptures. Okay, so I think that is our final park build, actually. And I reckon that looks pretty decent. Let's move the Sailorman's Pier down one. And we could perhaps, if we wanted to really go, you know, full ham on it, we could put in another luxury boat marina down here somewhere. But I reckon that looks pretty good. And at night, it looks really awesome. Yeah, I think that's going to do it and wrap it up for today. I think that's been a, a pretty good build. It's quite a fiddly process to produce something quite like this and on this scale. And obviously, you know, it's been a lot easier to do in a creative city here, this demonstration city we've got, which uh, EA provided. So I can kind of show this stuff to you and, and share these ideas with you. Uh, but you can do this in your own cities yourself. Just make sure when you're mapping stuff out that, you know, you're using the two lane roads to give you the idea of kind of what your rough layout's going to be use sample parks or cheap parks like the the peaceful park and stuff like that where you can afford to move things around or if you've got other things like say you've got you know a city built up over here with stuff like the soccer fields or something so instead of placing a new one down you would just move one from your main city and bring those over to help you design really big fancy areas like this and then I think you can come up with something that looks really awesome you just have to have a little bit of patience and a little bit of creative license with how it looks and you too can produce an awesome result like this so yeah that's going to do it uh, for today take it easy have a great rest of your week <laughs>